Hello, everybody. Um, so I've been doing a little bit of work on the joystick service and hooking it up to inverse kinematics. So I'm just going to do, uh, do a little demo here. I'm going to run the inverse kinematics service. And you'll see the, the new web GUI here. And I click the center all joints. I refresh. Center all joints. I've got the joystick GUI where I've got an Xbox controller hooked up. And you can see I can, you know, press the different controls in the different directions. <clears throat> Let me align this a little bit so you can actually see a little bit more what's going on. Uh, Alright, so if I press the A button, then what's going to happen is I'm going to use the joystick to control the position of the end effector, the hand of the, the robot, um, and I'm, I'm using the, the joysticks on the, the Xbox controller, so the uh, left joystick will move in the x-axis if I move left and right, and the y-axis if I move uh, up and down. The right joystick uh, will move forward and back in the z-axis when I move that. So, you show them I'm moving it around. Now I press the A button. Tracking will start. And you see that there's tracking information down here. And as I move the x-axis to the left, you'll see that the uh, the hand is tracking to the left. And I can move it to the right. I can move it up. I can move it down. I can move it away from me. I can move it towards me. I can move it in multiple directions all at the same time, uh, just like an etch sketch. Well, anyway, that's a quick little update on, on the progress here. I hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.